Grade 8 Math number 2.1i, Applying the Rules of Integer Exponents. We've done a lot of rules in the last few videos. We can use the rules for exponents that we just learned in the last several videos to simplify more complicated algebraic expressions. So this is how it went. For the Grade 8 Math video number 2.1c, we did the product rule that says when multiplying like non-zero bases, we add the exponents. In 2.1d video, we did the quotient rule. It says when dividing like non-zero bases, we subtract the exponents. In 2.1e, we did the zero rule. It says all non-zero base numbers with a zero exponent are equal to one. In video 2.1f, we covered the negative exponent rule. A base with a negative exponent can be a positive fraction. In 2.1g, we did three power rules. The first one was if you raise a power to a power by multiplying the exponents. The second one was you raise a product to a power by raising a factor to a power. And the third power rule was we raise a quotient to a power by raising both the numerator and denominator to the power. All of this, all three of these power rules were in video 2.1g. In 2.1h, we covered negative to positive exponent rule. That said, if you flip the fraction to its reciprocal, you can change a negative exponent to a positive exponent. Now, all the pictures of the whiteboards from all of these vi videos have been posted to Twitter. So if you go to Twitter and you check out Joanne's school, you'll see all of the whiteboards, all of the notes for all of these videos, okay? And you might want to go back and watch these videos if you haven't, because we're going to be covering all of this information and I'd hate for you to get lost without it, okay? So, here's the first one we're going to try doing. Simplify each expression. We've got in parentheses 7 minus 4 to the fifth power times 3 to the negative 2 plus 6 plus 3 to the zero power. So the first thing we're going to do is see this. We're going to simplify inside the parentheses first, but this is the zero exponent rule. So it doesn't matter what is inside of these parentheses. If it's got a zero exponent, it's going to equal a 1. So we've got 9 to the zero power. It's going to be a 1. Inside of here, we've got 7 take away 4 is 3. So we've got 3 to the fifth power. But now we've got 3 to the negative 2. So we use the product rule of exponents. That's in video 2.1c. And we do 3 to the fifth power plus a negative 2. It's going to give us 3 to the third power. 5 plus a negative 2 is 3. So that means we can now simplify it as 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 plus the 1. It's a 28. See? Let's try this one. We've got, it looks very difficult, I know, but if you take it in little pieces, it's not hard at all. We've got a 4 plus 2 inside of parentheses to the second power. And then we've got the brackets and it's to the third power on the outside. So we're going to simplify inside the parentheses first. And this whole thing is a fraction over 9 minus 3 to the second power. So let's do inside the parentheses first, OK? 4 plus 2 is 6. So that means we got 6 to the second power in parentheses, and it's to the third power, OK? That means 6 to the second power times 6 to the second power times 6 to the second power, all right? But we don't need to do that. Because if you watched video number 2.1g, you, you know that we can use the power rule number one. That was the first power rule in 2.1g. All we have to do is multiply the two times the three. Six, two times three is gonna be six to the sixth power. This nine take away three is six to the second power, see? So now we've got 6 to the 6th power over 6 to the 2nd power. If you saw video number 2.1d, you know that we can use the quotient rule and we could subtract these exponents. We've got 6 to the 6 take away 2. That's going to be 6 to the 4th power. Now all we have to do is simplify it. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. We do our little multiplication and we see that it equals 1,296. See? Take in little bitty steps and you're fine but it's really going to help if you've seen these videos and took notes, okay? Let's try this one. We've got 9 minus 5 to the third power times 4 to the second power plus 8 plus 4 to the second power. 
Whew, it looks difficult, doesn't it? But it's not. We're going to simplify inside these parentheses first. 9 minus 5 is 4, so we got 4 to the third power. 8 plus 4 is 12, so we've got 12 to the second power. So now we've got 4 to the third power times 4 to the second power. Well, if you saw the product rule, video number 2.1c, you know that since these two bases are the same, all we have to do is add their exponents, 3 plus 2. That's going to give us a 5. Now we've got 4 to the fifth power. All we have to do is simplify and add it. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, times 4 is 256, times 4 is 1024. Now we add the 144 and we get 1168. See? No big deal. All right, let's try this one. We've got 6 to the third power times 6 to the negative 5, and it needs to be simplified. Well, we can use the product rule for exponents in video 2.1c, and we just add because we're multiplying like bases, we just add the exponents. 3 plus negative 5. 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2. And if you saw the video 2.1f, we use the negative exponent rule. This becomes a fraction with a positive exponent. 1 over 6 to the second power, it becomes 1 36. See? Let's try this one. We've got 4 to the negative second power plus 1 third to the negative second. Well, we can use the negative exponent rule from video 2.1f for this one, and it becomes 1 over 4 to the second power. And this one, we can use the negative to positive exponent rule from video number 2.1h, and we flip it around to its reciprocal and get a positive exponent now we got 3 over 1 to the second power. That's just 3 to the second power, right? So now this becomes 1 over 4 times 4, or 1 16th. And this is going to be 3 to the second power. That's 3 times 3. We add them together, and we've got 1 16th plus 9. It equals 9 and 1 16th when we simplify it, see? No big deal. We can climb the highest mountain, Mount Everest, if we just take one step at a time, right? Okay, so these are very, very important. We're going to start going forward, so it's really important that you know these. If you've already seen the videos, know that they're posted on Twitter. A whiteboard like this with all the notes, just a, a picture, not the video, is on Twitter. And you can use it as a study guide. And it wouldn't hurt to freeze this frame and maybe crop this and save this, right? You could do that, because it's all in a nutshell right here, OK? All right, we're going to move on to number 2.2a. I hope this was helpful. And I know exponents can be confusing, but just take your notes. Watch these videos. Take it one little step at a time, and you're going to be fine, OK? We'll do this together. See you next video. Bye.